Hey, this is Mark with Trigable Leaf Farm LLC. I uh, wanted to go through this nuke down um, setup that I have for a War A hive. Um, this is just like a one of the boxes from uh, you know a War A hive kit. It's got the got the bars already in it. Um, and this is the nuke up kit. Basically, has three major components. One is the the box that receives your traditional five frame nuke. Um, and that gets that gets put on top of your warre box here um and then you you end up having this these uh spaces right here that need to be filled um so i screw down on top on one side this is part of part of the kit uh one board here it's got a couple pilot holes this one's a uh, one that's going out being shipped to a customer so I don't know how wide their box is so I uh, put in a couple holes just so it's got a little bit of wiggle room and I make it a little bit extra long just in case their box is a little bigger than a standard war a box um, but anyway you need one on each side so those get screwed in and that makes it be tight here you know, a bead of caulk is also a good measure right along here just to stop water from hitting the side rain from hitting the side and going down and in in the box um, so I'll just leave these here for demonstration purposes. Underneath the box, you also have the space underneath where the bees could get out once you put the five frames in. So there's a, another little filler filler plate here that gets screwed up underneath. Again, they kind of drilled extra um, pilot holes. One screw, really one screw on each side is all you really need to hold that on on the box. One goes here on this side. One goes on the other side, you know, and just kind of like even it out, space it out. Um, so that gets the, the five frame nuke building down into the war a hive. Once you get the frames in, the five frames in, um, and it gets them building in the center of the hive, you know, so it's not skewed one way or another. It's centered on the, on the war a hive. Um, this, this setup I end up leaving on the hive for a full calendar year. Um, from when they're set up and then eventually removing this the next spring Now the neat part about this is that it's also got, you know a little bit of burlap that goes on top of the the, the font you can imagine that the, the frames would be in there and that goes on top of the frames um, And then I've got a quilt box So that, that's kind of like the, the neat little thing I came up with this is that so this allows this whole setup to still function like a war a hive um, where you still you still have extra you have the extra wicking effect of the uh, the shavings or whatever you have in here um, I put a little screen in here I, li I like having that screen to kind of hold on to the shavings if you're doing inspections and whatnot um, and the nice part is that the way this is built is that there's a little spacer here so when I put on the vented roof um, it ends up telescoping over the whole thing keeping it watertight um, and there's still a there's still a gap right here where air can s cycle in pull out the excess moisture another component of this roof is that you know it's got all these overhangs too and on the other side here it's also got a, a little quarter inch uh, bead that's been ripped here and what that serves is a little drip edge so as you know we can still do a flat roof um, but as water, you know, water comes off the edge of this, instead of following the wood on the inside and going inside the bedding here, or, or not the bedding, but the quilt, um, it hits that drip edge and drips right out, right down. Again, you know, a bead of caulk here, a bead of caulk, if this, if this happens to be like hanging off here, a bead of caulk there, anywhere where, um, water might pool and go down and into the hive. You know, you got gravity working with you here, so. Uh, and that's that's the general setup um, Kind of making this video so that anybody who buys one of these from me they can set it up But also so you can see how to make it yourself. You can see all the basic components um, You know best of luck it, it, pretty easy to build um, It's all nice straight cuts and just a couple screws here and there. It doesn't have to be perfect uh, And it you know really the life of it can just last one year or you can make it you know, uh, and stain it and keep reusing it as you uh, set up new hives each year. Best of luck.